Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Matt Rogers and today we'll be breaking down the movie Rubber. Now for those of you that haven't heard about it, Rubber is a horror movie starring, wait for it, a tire. And not just any ordinary tire, a tire with special abilities, which we'll get more into later. Back in 2010 when the movie came out, it was actually met with pretty positive reviews. 68% on Rotten Tomatoes for a movie like this is not a bad effort. But after watching it myself, I just had to do a video on it. Now I'm going to be ruining a few parts of the movie, but nothing too major, so you should be able to still go and enjoy it afterwards. But let's get into it. So the movie starts and we see all these chairs in the middle of a desert road. All of a sudden a car comes along and starts destroying each and every one of them. Why this is happening is not yet known, and it gets even weirder when a sheriff gets out of the boot of the car. Then as the sheriff walks past, the driver gives him a glass of water. Having a glass of water in a car is just not a practical way to transport liquids. And it gets even stranger when he opens his mouth. In the Steven Spielberg movie E.T., why is the alien brown? He goes on to talk to the camera directly to sort of give the movie a bit of context to explain that not all movies have reasons for doing things. Which is probably a good way to preface the movie because this movie does not make a whole lot of sense. We then realise that the sheriff is actually talking to a bunch of spectators, which are there to actually watch the film that's playing out in front of them. What film is this, you may ask? Well, this is where the tyre comes in. We see the tyre, which I'll refer to as rubber, emerging out of his sandy sleep. And then we're put through probably the most torturous introduction to a movie of all time. Oh my god. So this goes on for a fair while, but things get interesting when an obstacle blocks his path. And there we have it, we have a psychotelepathic tyre. Usually before watching a movie, we're given an anti-piracy warning, but this anti-piracy warning happens 10 minutes into the movie. You know you're not allowed to film the film. Uh, it's forbidden by law. It is? Yeah, they'll put you in jail for that. In jail? Uh, are you kidding me? Yeah, she's right. It's piracy. I'd be careful if I were you. Well, my wife couldn't come. I was just going to show her. Yeah, it's piracy anyway. Thanks, uh, going for the future, thanks. Now a shaking short tempered tire is all well and good, but I found myself looking forward to the iconic dialogue between the spectators. Oh, you should be the ones to move if you want to laugh so loud, don't you think? You know what, why don't you just do like that cripple and put on your Walkman and listen to music and then we won't bother you anymore. Okay, it's not a Walkman, it's a medical gizmo. Just fantastic. So as Rubber goes on, he does get a bit tired and starts looking for a hotel. On his way, he finds himself at a gas station and this is where the horror comes in. And that's all I'm gonna be able to put on YouTube. <laughs> I guess next time he better tread carefully. So Rubber rents a room, then of course watches a bit of television. So then Rubber goes to take a shower. The maid then comes to clean his room and hearing someone in the shower, she then goes in and checks who's in there. Of course then seeing Rubber and throwing him out on the street. Then the maid of course meeting her untimely end. And then for no reason, the sheriff and his assistant then poison all the spectators with turkey, killing all of them except a man in a wheelchair who realised it was a trap. Thinking that all the spectators are now dead, the sheriff, while the other police are investigating Rubber's victims, lets them in that this whole thing isn't real. It's all just a movie. It's not real life. Look at you. You have a stuffed toy alligator under your arm. 
but the victims were real people that are now in fact dead. I know, it doesn't make any sense. But then he goes back into character as he realised the man in the wheelchair is still watching. But this just won't do, so the sheriff's assistant then brings more poisoned food to the man in the wheelchair. But of course the man in the wheelchair realises this is the case, obviously. And then the assistant gets hungry and decides to eat the food. And then he dies of poisoning. Uh, uh, help me! Now another spoiler warning is I'm just about to talk about the ending, but as you're probably finding by now, this movie can't really be ruined. So the cops attempt all these ridiculous ways to get the tyre to explode himself, and the man in the wheelchair comes down to try and help them do so. The cops then, losing their patience, walk in and just shoot the tyre to shreds. But just when you think it couldn't get any weirder... Hey wait! It's not the end! He's been reincarnated as a tricycle! I think that's enough for one day. But have you seen Rubber? If so, what did you think? But in the comments below, what is the dumbest movie you've ever seen? I'll be interested to check them out. But until next time, thanks so much for hanging out. If you had a good time, then spank that like button. And if you subscribed during this video, then welcome aboard. This is Matt Rogers, and that is all.